We are breaking curses of poverty in life. We are breaking fluken van armoede. Amen. I see it this way sometimes. Especially the African women. Soms Afrikaanse vrouwen. When you go into their wardrobes, they can pack clothes. They wear for clothes. Pack them, pack them, pack them. When you open the wardrobe, then the clothes are saying, "We want to come out. We want to come out." And they are all coming down. Hallelujah. Then sometimes you will say, "Ah, as for this, I have to try and." And, and give some out and, and, and every day is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look, sometimes someone has been saying this thing when I hear you close your way, even now, even now. Don't think that your child will come and wear. Because by the time your child will get to your age, it is a cake. A cake. Your child don't like it anymore. Amen. So when it's too much, give up. Give up. Say give up. Say give up. When you give, it opens the door. Amen. All right. And then the woman said, you know my husband loves God. And what? He said, fear, fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born to me. Now, it means that this man, as good as he was, he couldn't even save small money for his children and for his family. Who knows what killed him? Maybe some people will make a research. Who knows? Maybe poverty, abject poverty, killed him. Thank God for women. Women are good. Now I'm praising them. Women are very good. If you are sitting there, I'm going to put your hand on the shoulder. So if women, you are good. If I were, if I were the prophet, I would have done this long ago. He should have encouraged the wife to go and see his boss long, long, long. But he was doing big man, big man. I'm sure the woman will even say, ah, it's a good one. Let me go and tell your boss. You say, no, 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 I don't want disgrace. Don't go and disgrace me. I'm not the only uh, uh, prophet under him. Don't go and sell our, 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 our house matter. And he was doing show my ship, big my ship, show my ship, and he died. And when he died, the woman said, hey. Because there's nothing home. He couldn't say, he couldn't do anything. And I'm sure every, every month uh, 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 in Castle will add more. Every month in Castle, oh no, it's not in Castle. Yeah. They will bring more and add more and add more. You couldn't bear it, he died. And I was break, but they brought a letter. We are coming to pack your things. And they have the brief see that the spirit. The woman said, No, 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 no. No, this can't happen. If my husband is gone, my two kids too will go. No. And they are going to be slaves for the rest of their lives. Because there's no way the woman will get money to pay. Hallelujah. So she ran to the man of God. That makes me understand that there is also a spiritual means of making money. There is a part of a spirit that can change your financial destiny. That tells me that God has the ability to do everything. That tells me it's possible. You can pray to God that you will change your financial life. But the principle cannot be lived 
left out. Maar de principe kan niet achterin gegaan. You you notice? I don't want to read again because I realize my time is gone. I want us to pray. You notice? Dus je ook. What the prophet said? Wat de profeet zei. The prophet said, go and work small. Ga een beetje werken. Tell somebody go and work small. Ga een beetje werken. He said, go and borrow. Go, knock doors, borrow. It's work. Go and do something. Hallelujah. So go. And after you finish, then come and do karabaka, 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 and then the God will do the rest. Hallelujah. Go and borrow vessels. Don't borrow few. If you borrow few, then you don't have vision. Hallelujah. Work hard. Go. Go, go as far as if you live in Utrecht. Go as far as uh, Bacono. Bacono song. Hallelujah. Go very far and get more barrels. Open and put them in your compound. Put them here. Put them. Keep them. Say, don't borrow few. few. And they borrowed and borrowed and borrowed and start borrowing. And the miracle of God started coming out. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We live on this earth. And for God to bless you financially, He would need to stand upon something physical to bless you. Be on your feet. It is my prayer. That TVCI poverty will leave us in the name of Jesus. It is my prayer that TVCI, when we say we're going to do anything, one person, I've seen churches like that, like we're going to the camp. Ah, one person will ask, Pastor, how much is the camp for about a hundred people? You say, Oh, we need about ten. Uh, 2.5 by 2,500 euros. Oh, 2,500. All right, leave that for me. Hallelujah. Then another person will say, um, what do you need again? We say we need about so so amount for food. Leave that for me. Leave that for me. Leave that. So it's not a matter of asking people to pay anything. Tell somebody we'll get there. Yeah. Oh, say it with faith. Yeah. Oh, say it with faith. If the person is not minding, you say it to yourself. Say, I will get them. Oh, say it like you mean it. Hallelujah. Amen. God has the ability to change your financial state. He changed the woman's financial state within a twinkle of an eye. Go borrow vessels. Don't borrow few. Borrow as many as you can. And a miracle will happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was one time faced with the challenge of paying tasks. He has to cause a miracle. He says, go to the fish. Who pin them out? This morning then. Close your eyes with me. God has to change your financial destiny. Only one person believed it. Amen. God has to change your financial destiny. In 2019, your accounts should change. You have to move out from the 500s and the thousands and move higher and higher and higher. In the name of Jesus, I am praying that as you pray this year, you will not think about your salary because money will be coming from other directions. So when the month ends, you will not think about how much was paid. You will only look at your slip and put it somewhere. In the name of Jesus, let Jehovah give you ideas. Ideas to make money. Ideas to 
set up your own establishment in the name of Jesus. May God make your businesses flourish in the mighty name of Jesus. Close your eyes with me. We're going to pray with faith and believe God that there's going to be a turnaround in your finances. We are going to put at lack. Ah, you don't have to go backwards. You have to move forward. That spirit that has been assigned to fight your business, today we're going to deal with that spirit. I am telling you, when we come back from the camp, some of you will give tangible testimonies. Because the devil will run after my spirit. You will go. I, I am feeling it so much in my spirit that something is going to happen. Close your eyes with me. This year you will see change. Change in your finance. Change in your destiny. Change in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are God from beginning.
it to the sky. Put it on the screen. Second Corinthians 8 9. It's delaying and you have a KJV without speaking. Okay. I want us to read this together. It says what? Moreover, brethren, we do you to wait of the grace of God restored of the church of us. So I said 8 9. 8 9. 8 9. 9. Not, not 1, not 2, not 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. Now we could read it, we read one go. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. That, that, that though he was rich, yes. yet for your sake. For who say? Our sake. For who say? Our sake. Say my sake. For who say? My sake. Though God, it says he was, Jesus was rich, but for your sake he became what? So that you will be what? Through his poverty, you will be what? Hallelujah. You will be able to say, God, grace us. Grace us to excel financially. Grace us to be rich. Let that grace fall on us. When that grace come upon you, look, you see, somebody will be doing business. And that business is not fetching. It's not booming. But because of that grace, when you go and touch that business, it will change. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that God let that grace come upon you. You'll be working with somebody. The person is earning the same money to you. But as for you, because of that grace, as if somebody has been adding money to your own. Hallelujah. It's all for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was free, yet he did divine exchange. Yeah. He began to so you can yeah. yeah. reach. Close your eyes. Lift up your two hands. Speak to God. Tell us, let that grace come upon me. Let that grace. I need that grace. I need that grace. I need that grace. I need that grace. Let that grace come. Let that grace come. Let that grace come. Let that grace come. Let it come. The grace to excel. The grace to excel financially. The grace to be rich. In Matalabado Sabaha.
without him. When you count 10 people, if you don't get, you will get more than six or seven who owe one way or the other in this country. Hallelujah. And I feel it's a spirit which must be dealt with. And in this church, we want to eradicate that spirit. We want to believe God that those who have been giving debts to pay, that they don't have to. Even if you have to, may God have mercy on you, Jesus. Yes. We are going to pray for supernatural debt cancellation. And we want to pray and seal that hole. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is why you have to fulfill every righteousness. Fulfill every principle. God, the prophet says, because you don't do it, you work, but you don't see anything. So do your part. Then you can pray to God. Close your eyes with me. We're going to pray and say, God, cancel death. Supernaturally cancel them. Let us receive letters that our debts are cancelled. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are praying that may Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus wash away that spirit. Chase that spirit out of our midst. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are chasing it out. So our children will not come and pay their Jesus. Lift up your hands. I want you to attack this prayer with seriousness. I don't know if you want to remember this. Some years back when we came here, there's a lady who joined us. Even two of them. Young, young ladies, they are not up to 30 years. One is paying about, oh, about yeah. over nine to 10,000 euros. Small girl. The other one, who is a little bit grown, that's why she, she cannot do anything. She can't do anything. She, she uh, how do you call it? They give her 50 euros uh, a week or so. Hallelujah. Even when she works, even if she gets a job, because she owes, the moment the money goes into her account, the money is swallowed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Young girl with one child. Amen. It is serious. And you realize that the young ones that are coming by the time you hear they are telling, I know, I know, I don't want to hear that anymore. We have to chase that spirit out. May God help us and deliver us and deliver our children. Now we are refusing to pay debt in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. 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 Lift up